Good morning and welcome back to the Restless Cure. This morning I'm out by myself. My uh, wife and daughter went out to Portland, Oregon for a bridal shower. Kind of left me home alone. So when the uh, cats away, the mice will play. So I took a boat out to Perdido Key, Florida. I wanted to catch a uh, sunrise. I don't think it's going to render very well. It's pretty overcast and cloudy. Uh, otherwise, it's perfect weather. It's about 60 degrees. Uh, the trip over here was good. It was about three quarter moon. I got to see a little bit of bars traffic in the intercoastal. And uh, I'm gonna get in a little bit of a beach hike. And when I'm done here, I'm gonna jump back in the boat and head up to uh, Sticks River in Alabama and do a little bit of river recon. I wanna get a little bit of a head start on my uh, spring fishing plans and uh, see what else we can get into. tell you some days I feel like I've uh, I'm on my A game and some days I feel like I'm not even in the game and today's one of those days I don't feel like I'm in the game so uh, I dropped my fedora in the hat uh, excuse me in the hat in the, see there I told you in the water um, so then that started a chain reaction I realized the favorite place I wanted to watch the sunrise is the National Park so they they don't allow drone footage in a national park and if that wasn't bad enough, right across the street from said National Park is uh, Pensacola Naval Air Station. And Big Brother's not going to have me flying a drone in their airspace either. So I'm going to head on up to the river. I think I've had about as much uh, beach fun as I can have today. And I think I'm going to put on my life jacket. I rarely wear a life jacket in this boat because it's a pontoon boat and it's super slow. But I think uh, the life jacket's going to be my thing today. Well, I finally made it up the Styx River. Um, water up here is smooth as glass. It's a pretty nice change from that old choppy bay. I wanted to kind of check out this river today, and that was really the purpose of this whole trip. Um, I tubed this river about 10 years ago, but I really don't remember that much about it. Even though I live in Alabama, I work in Florida, and I've spent most of my um, 
probably the last 20 years in Florida. So I'm really not that familiar with this area, even though it's not that far from where I live. So today was just to kind of get familiarized with uh, this river and maybe what it's got to offer. When I come to a new place, especially for fishing, I, I try to kind of size it up. I've got a little mental checklist I like to go through um, just to see, uh, you know, kind of where it ranks and uh, on my fun meter, I guess. Uh, the first thing is, you know, do I want to be here? Um, do I like the, the, the nature and the landscape? One of the good things about, you know, living near the Gulf of Mexico uh, is you've got plenty of fishing opportunities and I don't really want to spend any time at a place I don't really enjoy. And then most from that point forward, it's uh, very little about being a good angler, more about just practicality. Yeah, I mean, water clarity and all that stuff is important. But uh, in, you know, in the summertime, I do a lot of nighttime fishing and uh, I want to make sure the river's you know, clean enough so that I can come down here at night and not get jammed up in a bunch of trees. Is there places for me to camp? You know, are there sandy uh, banks or um, you know places to pitch a tent, or, or am I stuck um, sleeping in a kayak, which is about zero fun? Can I throw up a hammock? Uh, how much private property is on it? I mean, uh, am I going to get run off by some you know overzealous property owner? Um, you know things like that. I've made it up the river quite a ways and this little area I think best represents uh, most of Styx River at least the part I've been on so far uh, I'm really impressed with it as far as uh, you know nature I mean I, I don't see any much residential property in most of the areas um, I don't hear any road noise um, as far as I'm concerned I'm the only person out here uh, I like the fact that it's got structure along the banks um, there's good, pl hopefully good places to fish and it just adds, uh, I guess, to the overall experience of the paddling trip and the fishing trip. It's something I can bring the pontoon boat up, uh, definitely a kayak trip. I just don't love it for nighttime. There's not any place really to uh, throw up a tent or a hammock uh, on the bank, but uh, I'll definitely be back. All in all, this has been a pretty enjoyable trip, um, at least a river portion anyway. Uh, <laughs> I went crazy about that beach run this morning. I'm happy with the river. Um, it offers everything that I really like, um, with the exception of overnight camping that's convenient. I mean, most of the banks are covered with brush, debris, and bushes. Um, so there's not really a good place to hang a hammock or, uh, you know, sleep in any other way um, i definitely could bring the pontoon boat out here to sleep at night and that's probably what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna wrap it up on the river but before i get going i uh i worked up a little bit of appetite and i might have screwed this day up by getting my hat wet and i had an sd card that needed to reformat and i lost some data but i did have the forethought to get me some fresh shrimp and some fresh italian bread from the uh, a local fish market so i'm okay so I got the ingredients to cook me a shrimp po boy, so I'm gonna get started. And just like any good southern dish, it always starts out with butter or bacon.
So I got a shrimp po' boy here with fresh shrimp, uh, grilled avocados. I'm gonna smash into a spread. Grilled uh, tomatoes, bacon. I got an avocado here with some bacon bits on top. I brought a little lettuce, but it ain't no room for it. So, man, this is gonna be good. At least I hope. Oh yeah, for sure. Mmm. Mm-mm. Oh, you gotta get a spoon. This is a part of camping and outdoors and exploring an adventure that I really love. Mm -hmm.